What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today what we're going to be doing is going back to a series I started about two months ago, maybe a little bit longer, you know, I did two really quick videos on them, one on Gene, one on Carl, and then I kind of stopped um, with this new trophy change, you know, I'm, it's, it's pretty easy to get, it's definitely not super easy, but it's slightly easy, so we're going to continue the Road to 1K series, where we try and get every single brawler in the game 1K, so you guys know we have the Gene done, you know we have the Carl done, and a little bit of a spoiler, we also have the Rosa done, but today what we're going to be doing is doing the 1K BB. So just a really, really huge shout out. Uh, this worked really well last time. A ton of you guys liked it. And just for all of you guys that didn't know, I do stream on Twitch. So my my uh, dis the description for my Twitch is going to be below. Please stop by, drop a follow. Uh, just come watch me. With this. It's like a perfect, perfect place for us to connect. Just to talk while, you know, playing some games. You can just chill, listen to some music. Uh, it's a really good vibe. I stream almost every single day, normally around 8 p.m. Eastern. So definitely come by, check it out. But with that being said, let's hop into a few games. We're going to talk about what makes BB good, what modes to play her on, and just how we got her 1K. So let's get it done. Okay, so here we go into our first game. And that matchmaking actually was really brutal. It took seven minutes long, so that's pretty insane. Uh, so we're just going to be going here for the first bolt, obviously. The knockback is huge, you want to be using that as effectively as possible, as well as the ball. There's many ways you can use the ball. Uh, currently we're playing Siege, so a way to use the ball is either to finish a kill. Um, if you can get a collateral, so if you can hit many people with your ball, you obviously want to do that. Or, you know, you could just go for the safe if you guys are feeling really, really confident. Um, I was going to run into a bunch of shots there, I was just swinging wildly. But maybe that will extend the game, which might actually make it better. For you guys, we're just going to run up. If you don't have the star power, I suggest just staying near walls. So it, it's a little bit hard to utilize BB if you don't have the star power just because you don't have that speed advantage. So trying to stay near walls is something that's really good. So you can do something like that, which would do 9% damage with your ball. You guys notice I also hit two people with that. So I did get super recharge. Good pull over there by Alec. We're just going to get our super again. We're probably going to do the same thing since I'm, a little, I'm pretty confident. We have these guys in the bag, so we're just going to do another 9% real quick. Uh, so in total, in like the last few seconds, just to show you guys, we've done 18%, which is actually pretty huge. Uh, so we got this Jesse over here. We're going to knock it back, take out its turret. We are one, we can one-shot the Jesse. The Jesse had to two-shot us, so we were going to go up and go aggro on him. Alec does have his pull. There is only 45% left on the save, so this is looking pretty good for us. We're just going to go over here. Something with BB that you want to do when you're pushing is by, is also taking out other enemies. So you could just stop for a second, like take out a dynamite on the side or take out somebody who's defending rather than just going for this for the Ike and, you know, not taking anybody out. So anyways, that's going to end the first game. Let's hop into the second one. Hopefully matchmaking doesn't take too long, which unfortunately it will because we're at 1k. Let's see if we can get some more solid gameplay. So here we go into our second game, again matchmaking had to take forever, but that's fine. So something you want to do with BB if you have your speed boost on Siege is notice where the first bolt is going to be spawned and go for it. Just because there are four bolts now in the uh, in the new Siege in the first round and every one obviously is so important and you can basically get one for free just because you have that speed boost over everyone. And so I would just really recommend if you're playing BB just to keep in mind exactly where that first bolt is spawned because when you're coming down into uh, into the game. It, it shows you, so definitely try and check that out. So a little bit, uh, oh, somehow I missed twice. Okay, I was able to get the kill though. Gonna go for another ball. So we've done 14% uh, just off of two balls without the bot. This might just be a one push to be honest. It's looking like it, the barley is spinning and that's going to be a 45 second game. So this is actually pretty brutal. Um, I'd actually want the games to be longer just because of the fact that it's taking seven minutes to get into matchmaking just for 45 second games. So hopefully the next game is a lot more competitive and it takes a longer amount of time. But let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the third game. Uh, obviously the bolt is in the middle as you guys can see so we're gonna run that down and get to it first Oh, they also have a BB so he was trying to do the same thing Luckily, we got to it just before he could I think we're gonna wait for Alex to make that pull He's actually gonna miss it, which is a little bit unfortunate. We're gonna go for this over here. We might get pulled We are going to get pulled. Hopefully the 
Oh, oh, we somehow survived. No way. Okay, so we were able to survive, which is actually really, really awesome. I have no clue how. As he pulled us into the zone, there was a BB beside us and obviously the gene since he pulled. So that's actually super, super insane that we were able to live there. We're going to take our shot at the safe. It's going to do 10% and we're just going to start going in. So the BB is wailing away at our bot. Um, I would try to go in and do damage. Looks like Alec and Olive Oil had other plans. So we have 30, or uh, sorry, 67% done to the safe right now. Um, Olive Oil doing a great job at holding position. Really good pull over there by Alec. I don't think I'm close enough to get this guy. Oh, I actually was, okay. So I can pick this up over here. I didn't actually go in the zone, I just went right beside it. Uh, this guy's gonna use his ball, but I don't think it's gonna be very effective. We're currently up four to three, five to three, and it looks like this is going to end the game. This guy's gonna try using a super. Always remember to not use your super next to a BB that has stun, because obviously it's just, it's gonna be stunned and GG to your super. So anyways, we're going to push up over here. It is looking like it's going to be a GG though. The gene is going to try and pull the bot away. It's not going to go far enough. And that is going to end the third game. So we're going to go and do one more game. Uh, you know, just we always like to do four games, especially when this match ranking takes forever. So let's hop into the last one and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And obviously, again, this is in the middle. We're gonna do a little bit of a pre-shot. He's gonna be able to get it first. I believe this is the team that we actually just played. So it looks like we're gonna be able to take out Brute, but it looks like their BB is actually gonna be doing a really good job at killing the rest of our team. So we're gonna be able to take out this Gene as well, but they are going to get the first bot. Now we are gonna have a three to nothing bolt advantage going into the next set or going to the next around whatever you want to call it so that's obviously really beneficial for us we're going to see if we can take out this frank okay we were able to take it out that's a very very huge deal as frank is majority of the damage on their team it looks like they're just going to try and hold a little bit of a middle position we're going to go for a little bit of bounce there unlucky we weren't able to get any hits we're going to be again against this frank oh we were almost able to take it out we did a ton of damage to him we we're also able to hit their gene so we were able to do really really well there their push only did 9%, so we did a really good job defending. Gonna bait this BB shot, which you wanna do a lot in BB 1v1s, guys. You guys wanna do a lot of baiting. Um, we're gonna be able to take out the opposing gene, but it looks like we're gonna go down. We weren't able to pick up a single um, bolt this round, which is actually really, really bad. Olive Oil was able to kill Brute, which is their Frank. So again, that's super, super good for us. We're gonna actually be hit three times by their bolt as a team, or by their ball, not as by their bolt. We're going to go down, but this might actually not be the worst thing in the world since we're going to spawn back and we're going to be immune. So we can take a couple punches from this dude over here. Oh, I think we're going to lose. No, we're actually going to lose. Wow. Wow, we actually took the L. Unfortunately, that's a minus 11 trophies. You hate to see it. But anyway, that's going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, losses do happen every once in a while. If I show you guys the battle log that we currently have, you know, it's been well we've we, i played around with anita and i just got on but you know it, it it hasn't been smooth you know we lose the losses happen but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed the 1k obviously we're going to be doing more videos on it we have the rosa 1k this season we're probably going to do something else by the end of the season so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that's going to be it for today i'll catch you guys later peace